I didn't press record again. Um, welcome, day 18. Here we are. Only 38 more days to go. You bored of me yet? Um, this week, we're talking about Educate Yourself 66, which is following Gymshark 66 Challenge. Um, I wanted to give a little bit back and educate others. I always get asked how I edit my photographs. So here's two ways I edit my photographs and hopefully you can learn from that. If you've got an iPhone, you can use the iPhone native app or there's Lightroom as well. I've done two demonstrations. I've just done it on the phone. Um, let me know how you get on um, or if you've got any um, questions, pop me a comment below. Cheers. Okay, and um, pick a photograph. I'm just going to pick this one here. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to edit it within the native iPhone app. So the first thing you can do, you click edit in the top corner. And then what we're going to do first is we're going to crop it. We're going to crop the image. Now there's a lot you can do here. Just you can resize it to up, down, you know. Everyone pretty much knows what a crop is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just focus on Harvey here. And I'm just going to have him as my picture. So automatically you can see, we can obviously we can flip him as well and we can do other things in here. But at the moment we just want to take Harvey and have him as a subject. Now, I'm just going to edit that a little bit more because he's not centre frame there, so he's not quite in the middle of the picture. So we want him in the middle of the picture. So we stick to our rule of thirds. Um, so back onto edit. Now don't press auto, don't bother with that. So exposure is pretty much your brightness, how much light the camera let in at the time. You take it down, it's less light. If you take it up, it's more light. Obviously, that's way too overexposed. To be honest, I'm quite happy with the exposure in this picture, so we'll leave it. The next thing that iPhones have is a brilliance, which I guess is just sort of like a vibrance, really. You can take up and down. This is the first one we're going to change. This is the highlights. Now, if you take the highlights down, you see how the colour comes out in his face. If you take them up, it sort of washes that away a bit. So we're just going to bring those highlights down a little bit, give a little colour into his face. And the next thing you're going to do, we're going to, we're going to mess with the shadows. Now the shadows, you take them down, it makes the picture darker. Take them up, it makes them lighter. So we're going for a dark moody feel on this picture. So we're just going to knock those shadows down a little bit. And you can see that darkness we've got in there. Now contrast is again, completely changing the image. It's not something we need to play with at this point. Brightness again. Do we want to take him darker? Do we want to take him higher? At the moment, I think he's okay. Now, the black point, what that's going to do, it's going to sort of wash out your image and make it look a bit washed out or make it completely uh, oversaturated. So if you want to wash it out, sometimes people like washing photos out, so you can do that, that here. Now, saturation, what this will do on your iPhone is it'll take away all of the colour or it'll add all of the colour. So you've got two extremes there, and if you want a bit in between, you can sort of get there. Now we're going to keep that one as it is. I'm not going to mess with that one today. Now vibrance, this one in particular, if you look at the, the red on his hat, as we move that up, it gets more vibrant. And as we take that down, it sort of washes the colour out. So the vibrance, we'll just add a little bit of vibrance to this picture. And then the warmth, we're going to make it cold. Because it was a cold day. So we're trying to illustrate the fact it was cold. We'll knock that down a little bit there, the warmth. You can put a tint on it, so you can add a colour tint if you wanted to. I'm not going to particularly do that for this picture. Sharpness, you can adjust the sharpness of the image, which you'll see it's just slightly moving around on his face. It also loses quality as you sharpen things up. So just be careful when using that one. Definition, it's very similar. You know, it sort of picks up a few extra shadows and highlights that we haven't have got in the past. Noise reduction, again, you can swipe this all the way. Oh, you can swipe this all the way and it'll reduce the noise in the image. But however, what it does is it smooths it out so it doesn't look as good. Okay. Um, and then what we've got then is a vignette. So what a vignette is, is it'll move uh, the corners darker or lighter. Just add a bit of, bit of sort of focus on, the, on your subject. So there you go. You can play a little bit more. So you can use, obviously, the filters that are built into your iPhone. 
Um, and obviously I'm just going to keep that to our edits that are there. Now, this is what the photo looks like now. And that's what it looked originally. See how we just brought it out that little bit? Brought a little bit more out. I'm just going to show you what the original looked like. It's the original, our version. Okay. So that's image one. This one of Evan. Okay. I'm going to bring that in here. So you'll see like the options that we did in the last uh, photo. We've got very similar options along the bottom here. We've just got a few more of them. Now one thing about um, Lightroom is as these very clever presets. Presets are not filters like on the iPhone. are very different. Um, so I'll, I'll talk through those in a minute. So again we can sort of go down our original sort of line. First thing we're going to do is we're going to crop the image. I'm going to crop him in. So there, so we sent a screen from there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the light. So again, we can look in the exposure, the contrast, the highlights and the shadows. So always for me, quick play around with the highlights. I'm going to knock those down a little bit. Shadows, where do I want to take them? I want to bring them out a little bit. Whites, do we want to make the whites whiter? You know, it's not making too much difference to us there. Blacks, do we want to bring those blacks out? No, happy there with that one. So then we're going to go into the colour. We can add some temperature to the image. A bit of vibrance if we want to. Bring out that green in those leaves. That saturation of those greens. But you see what that's done there is it's made his face a little bit red. So we want to make that temperature back a little bit. Then we can go into effects. We can use things like texture. So it'll add a texture over it or that'll really smooth him out and look like those old school uh, baby photographs there. Clarity again is a very similar to, to that it's just digital clarity um, it, you know vignette we like a good vignette so let's just add a little bit of vignette into there and you can feather that vignette if you want so it makes it more round. Well, I like it quite feathered out so you can't really tell it's there but you can if you look sort of closely Grain, so you could add a grain to the photo if you wanted to make it look old. And again, adjust the size of that grain. Going into the detail, again, you can sharpen the image. So we could sharpen it right up. Um, we'll just add a little tiny bit of sharpening on there. There we go, noise reduction again. There's not much noise in this photograph. You get the noise mainly on black photographs. Um, we don't need to bother with that. Geometry, again, we don't need to borrow that. So presets here... I have some paid for presets and what you can use is, is these to do all of that work that we've just done for you. Now, obviously you can scroll through them and pick what they do. You'll see like, unlike filters, they change all of the depth of the image and they change a lot of different things. However, we are not going to keep those. We're going to keep our own. Okay. So this is now where our photo sits. This is what it originally looked like. And that's what it looks like now. So you see just those very simple changes just really bring out the colours in our subject. And there you go. So that's two really simple ways to edit your photographs.